Interpretation of test results. Antibody reactive. A red control line appears in the control area and a red antibody line appears in the lower test area of the test unit. The intensity of the antibody and control lines may vary. Any visible red line in both the control and lower test areas, regardless of intensity, is considered reactive. A reactive test result means that HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies have been detected in the specimen. The test result is interpreted as preliminary positive for HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies. Antigen reactive. A red control line appears in the control area and a red antigen line appears in the upper test area of the test unit. The intensity of the antigen and control lines may vary. Any visible red line in both the control and upper test areas, regardless of intensity, is considered reactive. A reactive test result means that HIV-1 P24 antigen has been detected in the specimen. The test result is interpreted as preliminary positive for HIV-1 P24 antigen. A test result that is preliminary positive for HIV-1 P24 antigen in the absence of reactivity for HIV-1 or HIV-2 antibodies may indicate an acute HIV-1 infection in the test subject. In this case, the acute HIV-1 infection is distinguished from an established HIV-1 infection in which antibodies to HIV-1 are present. Antibody and antigen reactive. A red control line appears in the control area and a red antibody line appears in the lower test area and a red antigen line appears in the upper test area. The intensity of the antibody, antigen and control lines may vary. Any visible red line in the control area, the lower test area and the upper test area, regardless of intensity, is considered reactive. The test result is interpreted as preliminary positive for HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies and HIV-1 P24 antigen. Non-reactive. A red control line appears in the control area of the test unit and no red antibody or antigen line appears in the lower test area and the upper test area of the test unit respectively. A non-reactive test result means that HIV-1 or HIV-2 antibodies and HIV-1 P24 antigen were not detected in the specimen. Invalid result. No control line. If there is no red control line in the control area of the test unit, even if a red line appears in the lower test area or the upper test area of the test unit, the result is invalid and the test should be repeated. If the problem persists, contact ALEA Technical Support.